For a plane wave, to get the magnetic field from the electric field, we can use this expression. Gamma hat is the direction of propagation, which we determined to be minus z hat. Uh, the electric field here is the vector phasor that's given y hat 10 e to the j 0.2z. And eta here, which we still need to find, it's kind of like z naught for transmission lines. So it's equal to uh, the material parameters. So we have mu over epsilon. And so if we have mu was given and epsilon, we just figured that out in a previous part. So if we plug all that in, we're going to get 451.94 ohms. Uh, and let me be specific here, that's eta, not 1 over eta. So we'll be able to plug that in for eta there. So, um, then we have to do the minus z hat crossed with y hat. So if we point our fingers in the directions of minus z hat, and we curl them around in the direction of y hat, it probably helps to draw a coordinate system using also the right-hand rule, so x, y, z. Fingers in the direction of x, curls in y, thumb points in z. So now if you point your fingers in the minus z hat direction, curl them in the y hat direction, you should get x, x hat, for that operation. And then 10 times 1 over 451.94 gives us 22.13 and we're left with e to the j 0.2z. So it changes in space, same way as the electric field, it just has a different orientation and a different amplitude. Oh, and then actually we're asking for the time domain expression for the magnetic field. So we still need to convert this to the time domain. So we're going to take the real part of this h expression we just got times e to the j omega t, and so we're going to get h z t is x hat 22.13, and we get cosine, I'm going to put omega t, omega we calculated in just the previous part, that's 3 times 10 to the 7th t, and then we have 0.2 z and this is milliamps per meter. So yes, I probably did not specify that here. This is um, in milli, so I'll, I'll put that over here, milliamps per meter. So when you calculated this, you probably got 0 .0, 0 0.02213. So that's accounted for here by saying milliamps.